I know there is some data showing that in counties in the U.S. where marijuana has been legalized, the overuse of, of opiates for pain has decreased substantially. Awesome. And the crime rates have gone down, interesting. Well, sto people yeah. stoned on pot. It's, like Dude, it's hard to pick somebody's break, pocket. Can yeah. you go break into a building? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're they, just not going to get it together to You might knock for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. you might knock at the front door. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you're going to break in, And though. you're not going to... Yeah, you might... That's right. You might knock. You're not going to go out... What, are you going to go out in the alley and have a fight? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> a so, real slow fight. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, while you're watching your hands, like yeah, so it's like chess with your hands. Exactly, exactly. That's not going to happen. So, you know, I grew up on wild meat. My dad hunts. He still hunts. He's 82. You know, he's slowing down a little bit, obviously, because he's getting old. But yeah, he's but, using a gun now instead of a knife. Yeah, when he's out there. <laughs> but he doesn't just jump on the animal. <laughs> and I'm not trying to like, you know, like. Um, you know, smoke your salmon or whatever the term is in, in Canada, <laughs> but it's definitely like, one we use. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, dude. All right. Yeah. Or, you know, like, uh, you have to have some sort of a plan. When I used to be a little bit more aimless, I was just like, oh, I want things to be good. It wasn't enough. No, no. Because things don't know how to just be good. <laughs> This is true. All by left to themselves, things go no, from bad yeah. to worse. Yeah, things, yeah. Mm, things will go out entropy. of town. Things will, yeah. Mm. Yes, it's entropy. Yeah, like leave your house alone for a year. Yeah. See what happens to <laughs> yeah, it. It's like, yeah, oh, it's right. way better. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not. It has black mold everywhere, <laughs> right? And a vandal has moved in. There's graffiti everywhere. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's squirrels drawing a pentagram. Mm. Like things have gotten <laughs> exactly, out of hand. Exactly. That's definitely not good when that happens. Like I'm 38, you know. I mean, I'm kind of a late bloomer, so I'm kind of maybe like 32, really. But I'm also like an old soul, so I guess I'm actually like, I'm back at 38. Um, but it was a quick trip. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's actually the, a huge part of the reason for, for free speech. It's like we have to stumble along, around like morons to, to stumble upon the truth. Yeah. We're going to say stupid things. We're going to stay say wrong things. Yeah, that's why it wasn't costly speech. But if we needed to make it free because we we're going to fuck it up so much. Yeah. Like it was like, it's got to be free. Right. Because we're going to use so much that's of right. it to that's figure out where we're going. <laughs> yeah, no, that, exactly. That's right. If so it, if there was a cost, yeah, if it, it would be costly, way too yeah, high. Be way too yeah. high. Good point, man. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Write for 15 minutes about what your life could be like in three to five years if you had what you want, just so you know. If you had what you want. Yeah. If you had what you wanted, what would it be? Right. Like, and don't be ridiculous. Right. Right. About it, it has to be. Yeah. It has to be you hypothetically within your. Well, yeah, you that's have, it. You can have a castle in the right. air. Well, except they won't stay in the air. So, like, you right. know, let's and stay with. Going to be laws. Well, there, there, there's all. <laughs> Are there? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be laws. They're going to tax you yeah. probably. And there's going to be other people that you have to take <laughs> into account. So let's assume this is like in the real world and everything, just mm -hmm. so that we can. Okay. Ground yes. 100. percent Okay. Like there's there's a place for hedonic pleasure, man, for mm -hmm. sure. Although you got to be careful of it, you got because it's 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 a trap, right? Well, alcohol and cocaine, a very good. Oh, even if of I that. stay up and have two pieces of key lime pie, I feel like I've gone to Dante's Seventh yeah. Circle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I feel you there. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah, yeah, there is a place in time. How do you prep for a debate? Is it like do you have a Gatorade or something before? What do you do? <laughs> Bubbly water. Well, the only thing I eat is like sparkling water and meat. So that's I have some sparkling. It's like it's so funny because right, I'm on these tours, eh? Mm -hmm. And and if, if you're a tour, if you're renting theaters, they ask you, well, what do you want before the tour, mm -hmm. right? So you, you can <laughs> so, so you can pretty much specify whatever like you want. Like Perrier and Prosciutto. Yeah, well, it's like, I'll have six six bubbly waters. <laughs> like, that's all you want? It's like, yeah, I know it's really sad. I could have 20 dancing girls and a whole buffet. It's all, if you got some water, put some bubbles in it, man, because we'll have a real party then. The, the bar scene, that the, the heavy drinking scene, there's something kind of edgy about it, you know, and something kind of adventurous mm. about it. And, you know, you see that, it's kind of dramatized in people like Tom Waits, who's got that real hard edge, or Johnny mm -hmm. Cash, or people, hard living guys, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, there's guys with six really, or seven livers in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, there's something kind of romantic about that. Yes, and, but I'm noticing the way it affects other men like yeah, me. Yeah, well, people have said that, you know, that I've got this kind of old-fashioned appearance in a sense right? and yeah, I don't yeah. mean just my voice but just yeah like you just came on a train and the train just came out of nowhere and mm -hmm. you're like oh you know this guy's selling some you know this is some beautiful snake oil snake oil I'm, yeah I well like that's this. the other thing that people say too it's like oh a snake oil salesman it's like well no not exactly no this Personal is practical responsibility this feels is not snake oil agreed Agreed. Snake oil, I think. It's the is, opposite of it. It's the opposite it's like, of it. Like, yeah, you've got problems because you have things to do. Yeah. But I feel like there's this aimless kind of, there's a lot of men wandering around aimlessly. Yeah, well, there's a lot of confusion too because- But they're listening to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, men- They're I mean, finding you. Yes. And like, they, it's like you're like this cool stepdad that showed up that actually like cares about our mom or something. Mm -hmm. like, um, <laughs> you know, that's a good one, Not man. to put a pressure on you. No, no, that's a good one. But that's I'm, a good one. I'm noticing mm -hmm. from- You actually need a plan for your life because the thing is- a plan gives you goals, things to aim at. 
Like, imagine you went to the, the shooting range and you didn't have a target. Mm -hmm. Well, what the hell fun is that? What are you going to do? Shoot your rifle into the air? There's yeah, nothing about that nothing. that's useful. Shoot your friend, shoot you're, your you're, wife. <laughs> you're still shooting, <laughs> right. but it's not fun. Right, there's you, no there's no game. That's right. And the game is to hit the damn target. Who makes, uh, you laugh, is there a comedian Mitch over time? Mitch Hamburg. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah, man. King of the one-liners. <laughs> oh, he's dude, he's a Canadian funny. aphrodisiac, yeah, isn't he, yeah, Mitch Hedberg? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's damn funny. And so I like stand-up comedians in general. I liked, uh, who's the guy that just got in trouble in New York? Um, oh, Louis C.K.? Louis C.K., yeah. Louis C.K. It's like, oh, God, you really going to say that? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. so funny. He's so, so deviant, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah. I like Louis C.K. a lot. I think he's really funny. I Canada like has a lot of great comedians. Yes, certainly. Harlan Williams, Howie Mandel, those are two friends of mine, and those are funny men. Oh, yeah, there's lots. Can Canadians can really produce comedians. You know, we got to keep ourselves entertained when it's 200 below. <laughs> that's true. You know? 